Well, oh, I had their friends. No, I'm going to replay one of my favorite platformer from my childhood, which is Capcom's Chip to the Anodai Sekusen 2 for the Nintendo Famicom. Yeah, like all of my games, I used to own the Famicom version about like since everything. Yes. So I played like DuckTales 2 first, then the first one. And I like that version better. But needless to say, Chip and Dale 2 is still a relatively great game. With a... And with a much superior controls what the first one had in my opinion. <laughs> and the ability to have more health better than just free hit points. But on the other hand, this game is for me at, at least is and that really hard so I can make it I think this speedrun under 30 minutes and uh, let's hope that I can do my best here so the game is actually the last NES game what Capcom ever made unfortunately but that statement not would not true be now because they recently made the new Mega Man game for the Wii and Xbox as a downloadable content. And but I can't really say that they are any uh, that's an NES game like Mega Man 8 and 9 and 10. I would like to play them, but if somebody would actually make a NES ROM file about it, because Buying those games for me is like virtual impossibility or something like that. And I have no freaking idea why they didn't make an NES ROM about it. I don't think it's really hard, but maybe it's just me because my sick mind. I killed you! Yeah. Staji Kuruya Chipu! Yeah, I have two lives. Ah, yeah, two up. And I'm unfortunately, since everything is in Japanese, I'm going to skip the cutscenes. If you really are interested in the cutscenes, it is just about the restaurant has been bombarded with all kinds of stuff, and you need to get rid of that and kick kick of the ass of Fat Cat's ass again. But to be completely fair, as a kid, I never really watched the show. I knew about it, that it, it has it some existence. I watched it, I think, when I was 7 years old on a retail vide videotape cassette, so... In fact, I never really watched this so watched the show on TV. Like, on TV, like on a TV channel. Only on re retail rental tapes okay retail rental okay my English is again getting pretty much fucked up but back to the game the show has its some, some cool legacy and it it has a weird history because they were actually planned to make a Chippendale movie but see seeing that the DuckTales movie was not that popular the whole movie got, got cancelled and it was actually never released Hmm, so, it's a little bit weird, but at least I, I can say that the games had released in all regions, Europe, U United States, and actually if you are new to this game, new I mean you never own and you just sing the first time through, I I'm going to say this game is pretty pricey because this game is much rarer than the first one. It is just like uh, the Flintstones 2 cartridge. I I also have that, of course, on a bootleg cartridge. And the rarity of that game is just as rare as, or in terms of pricing, as Stadium Events, the NTSC version. 
But why am I talking about shit like this? Well, well, because it is some overview history lesson with my pretty much lame talking. Oh, I got died. Yes, because I idiot, I play this playing this in virtue and yes, not on Nestopia, because fortunately I was able to find an emulator which emulates the dandy speed, so it fixes the Apu settings and shit like that. Not Apu, yes, well, the Apu and the megahertz code fixing because everybody knows that if I would like to play this on an emulator now, which I am actually doing right now, if I stick the game into Paul, you can only hear that unoptimized horseshit, which most of the people don't very seem to like. Or this is only my opinion, because... Mm, especially if a game has a melodic DPCMs because it will never going to assign your pulse system or NTSC if the game wasn't made like I would only like Rodland or Mr. Gimmick for instance but on the other hand Mr. Gimmick is not going to very well play on the NTSC systems and no fat cat has been located then you have got three minutes before your ass is kicked Sheesh. I think there is only 10, stage, 10 stages in the game and I am now at stage 4 and I am barely playing this game like for 7 minutes. Jeez! And I only died once. Because I was trying to make a no death run but since I know that I... Since I'm playing in NTSC I'm going to suck ass because I only play this game on dandy so alas ball speed and now we are survive this freezer thing it's like almost like one one stage one minute or hey this stage wasn't even a minute long so stage number five now this is going to take some while because this is the haunted house I guess or something like that because you need to kill these lamp things I don't know so let's moving around and we are in uh, this creepy room and why do I say creepy because the lights were going out and you can see that pretty weird Frankenstein look-alike or Dr. Jekyll. It sort of reminds me of him. Uh, ha, ha, I trick you. And actually, if you saw, saw, I don't very really think about it, on my old, <laughs> old channel that gameplay about Super Mario and Sonic 2, well, that's a heck about of this game and I actually try to like because of my friend ZA909 said me just like play the Japanese ROM, uh, make a save state, and load it, uh, uh, rename the file for the Super Mario and Sonic 2 ST file, and maybe the game will going to work. Well, I do that what he said, but because it's see how. CHR is in a different format, it just crashed out, so I don't think, I really need to hack that freaking game just to see the last levels of that game, because Super Mario and Sonic 2 is only like, you can play only one level from the entire game. It's like they pretty much fucked up the graphics, and Monte's uh, face is pretty much fucked up. And I got hit in the ass because this witch thing or homeless person I don't know throws the, his shit at you at very random times so it's pretty much sometimes 
unavoidable. Hey, and I killed you! You fucking bastard, cheap. Ooh, I have 19 RRs, and if you collect 50 RRs, you can have that big RR on the about that free thing and if you collect free I think you can have four heart containers and if you have five that big RRs I say big RRs then you can have five health but fuck that shit I'm not going to do that and jeez only four stages left blah 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 Chipu Monty says what is that Kiainko to tokui tokui to you. Met to the main kokochia e mada Ah Kirioku Tower or Clock Tower. Yes, because in the English version it was said it, it this is a clock tower or something like that. Oh shit. Now this was a waste of time and I think this stage has, has one of the best musics, but I think Fu Damn it! Future World ha has the best. And maybe the last stage, but this is also because it has so great triangle waves. Yeah. And speaking of that of that friend of mine, he was actually able to cover the second and first stage of the game I'm not almost certain about it but I know that he made a sever stage pretty much just like how it sounded how it should have sounded alike okay jumping atop and we have set we have seven more lives why the hell am I then keep keep finding up oh shit you motherfucker! And actually, there is no difference whatsoever if you like to play as Dale or Chip. And there is a two-player option about this game, and you can actually pick the other character up if he was like, "I'm not going to play with the game with you." Which is sounds a little bit odd, but it was also featured in the first game. But ex but at least in the sequel, it was executed far better, like the throwing. Because uh, if you move along with an object, and when the object is blinking, you can throw it, and the enemy is never going to dodge that. Because like on the first level, there was an enemy we which carry the spoon and if you don't uh, if you don't have that flashing thing he will going to punch you back to the uh, box and you got hit, hit instead but the good thing about if you get hit by a box or something you don't lose health you're just going to get unconscious for a five or four seconds I don't know and I beat it this level too we have six lives left, yeah, because I died three times in this level. Oh yay. Yay. Okay. We have what is that? Po Po O Turko. I have seriously I don't know what is that. Pop the word. I don't know. Why the hell are you playing with explosives, you little squirrels? Speaking about the word squirrel, actually, <laughs> there is a Super Mario word hack on the Sega Genesis, which was a hack of Squirrel King, which was basically like this game on the Sega Genesis, Squirrel King. So, yeah, video gaming is also a weird place. Jeez, I'm playing this only for 15 minutes. Damn, I'm good. But if I would like Blasto from the, which is a PlayStation One game, how damn I'm good. But I don't want to be egoistic at all. So, moving along in this cart wheel of 
Doom and that boxing glove. Boxing glove. It's more like a gloving ball, you idiot. And here is the Pink Panther in a cylinder. Or maybe it, it is an, a villain from the show. Yes, because if he is a villain, then sorry about that, that I being so stupid that I didn't know that. Because, as I saw, I barely watched the show at all. Because as I quoted many many times ago, I was more of a Hanna-Barbera kid. And that is what bugs me, that there is so so much a few Hanna-Barbera games on the NES and there was never a game about Top Cat. <laughs> sniffing, sniffing, only just the C64, ZX Spectrum and shit like that. But I could at least enjoy the Disney games if I didn't enjoy like the cartoon itself. Oh, die already! How many hits you need to take? Seven? Eight? I don't know, I lost counting it. And maybe I think that that is the only problem with this game. It's just way too freaking short. And I know that the happy video game that bitched about this game about a lot of times that it has inferior music. INFERIOR MUSIC MY ASS dear, dear Derek. I mean, check this fucking future world out and you... You said this is the worst uh, uh, Chip and Dale game about... Of, about the two. Or at least that four... Mm, game was what you said because he's a Disney faggot I'm a, a certain about it but I think everybody knows him happy video game nerd it, which is just not a clone but I say opposite form of the angry video game nerd because he makes reviews about good games or I'm and not just good games but overhyped over shitted games such as mother because in my opinion, Mother is just a freaking Dragon Dragon Quest ripoff. Deal with it. And oh shit, I just beat one of my favorite levels in under a few seconds. Jeez. What? Should I st slow down? And here is this turtle. And shit, I got hit by him. I'm throwing back you, back to the those. What, what the hell are these metallic dick balls? I have no clue. Ouch! Because yes, you need to go here because this will, this chain we are going to deflect that. Uh, this gray square. <laughs> okay, now you can argue. This you can say that my English sucks ass. Okay, stop. I think you only need now three or four hits now, or two or one, and I killed you. I only had only one heart. Oh yeah. <sighs> okay, and now comes the last level. And actually, this is a very, it's a, one of the better cutscenes in the game. But yeah, no, I, I know everybody gonna bitch about that. Why the hell are you skipping the cutscenes? Well, if you didn't already. Notice, I am playing the Japanese ROM and I am not going to fail miserably at Japanese spe spelling because as idiotic as it sounds, I am trying to learn Japanese. Ouch! I am fucking dead. I like it electrocuted in the ass. Oh my god, they killed Chip! Those bastards! Well, if you can't, couldn't tell where the hell I referred from, well, then you are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Love that music. And yeah, speaking all again uh, about happy video game nerds. 
seeing of games. I mean, he said it has one of the most boring level designs of this game of all of the Capcom games. Seriously? Then I should say then, go in, go into a graphic girls maker, download a f hundreds of utilities and make a fucking better one. Okay, and fun fact, you need to make the graphics and the tiles and all that shit. Yes, because... I actually tried sometimes to make an NES game. My NES game, but I don't think I'm ever going to do that. Danger! One pixel of... Oh shit. And here is the best, and oh my god, 20 minutes! Well, then I was a slow bastard, and, and he says again, this is one of the most anticlimactic boss fights in the NES history. Well, again, I have s need to strongly disagree with you in this, because this is not anticlimactic, one of the most easiest boss fights in video game history or final boss fights because he literally killing himself I can even say it is pretty funny that he just love to kill him because he needs 10 shots and see you don't need to freaking I'm going to freaking die because My prediction comes true. Jeez! This is why I don't very like to play games in NTSC speed, but since I have a freaking Famicom, I really need to do that. Also, the music is pretty kick ass. But what I don't like about the Capcom games that they, I can strongly say that I think no game or no NES games from the Capcom library ever used the, the Delta Pulse code modulation chip. Ever. Only the noise channel, the triangle and the square one and square two. That's what I am truly aware of it because None of the Mega Man games feature DPCM because oh why we just don't have enough cartridge space. But I don't know because since Mega Man, the Mega Man games didn't use the, the, those big mappers. What they did use MMC three or two. Again, I am not certain about it. But when then the average gamer says who the hell cares about the DPCM chip you that you dumb shit well idiots like me uh, I am literally doing nothing this cat is now going to blow himself up into 20 little pieces shit Or maybe happy video game nerd was true, but anticlimactic. Seriously, more like the most barely programmed final boss. I'm standing in one place. <laughs> Lols. Finally! 3, 2, 1... Mo now... Ay, 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 ay. My timing was bad. Just like... All the freaking time. Pong... Pong... Yay! Fuck you! Ah, 
somehow. That's it. That's it. Good boy. At the boy. At the boy. At the boy. Shit. The timing. Focus. God damn it. Now. Yes, I killed you. I killed you. And now I'm so happy about it. And now I'm going to get one big horror. But I know I really can't see the point of what's coming on now. I beat the game. But what the hell is with the final bonus game? They just left inside for shits and giggles? Okay, let's escape, run, 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 or move, because the whole place is going to boom. Chipu, Dairu, Mo, Mo, Ane, Ane, Fatari. La 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 la. Let's read. Chipu, Dairu, Yokada, Yokada, Daiden yo. Nyanto ka, Daiden de mia, eh, Adia, Fa, Fa to kite yo you. Jesus, ah, uh, oh, Jesus. Why the hell I'm speaking Hungarian, goddammit? Fato kato no koto dakara umania. It is just so freaking fast. Or, alas, my. I can't realize these characters just this slow. Yes, because I am slow as all hell. Pokara haina raisa yakiyu. Okay. Whatever. There is not a big difference in terms of translation of this game. And ten. So this was Chip and Dale 2 on the Nintendo Family Computer. And I I really hope you enjoyed this episode. So thank you thank you for watching me and peace out.